Hello guys, Shinos here and welcome back to Genshin Impact. Today I'm here as a returning user trying to revisit Genshin Impact in order to claim the fast anniversary rewards. Yes, you heard me right. I've heard a lot of rumors that the rewards are pretty amazing and juicy. Alright, so let's get this on. First of all guys, just like any other gacha games, I will try to visit the mailbox, okay? So that's the place where we are supposed to get a lot of amazing rewards, right? Well, this one right over here tonight, it's not a fast anniversary reward, right? This one right over here, it does not say anything about the fast anniversary, okay? How about this one? Nothing about the fast anniversary, it's just a compensation reward. How about this one? Not an anniversary either. Today is 28th of September 2021. Genshin Impact was launched on 28th September 2020. So that means this is exactly one year after the Genshin Impact was launched for the first time. And man, today is the real anniversary and well, the rewards does not seem really that... I'm like, it's not even there. <laughs> Let alone being good. It's not... <laughs> <laughs> It's not even there in the mailbox. Okay, so let me check out like another place out here. Okay, so let me check out in this place right over here. It should be over here and uh, this is not the one. This is for the returning user. Uh, that's the Moonlight uh, Merriment. This one is the Spectral Secrets. This one is the... Uh, anyways, it's not a uh, fast anniversary reward. This one is the fast anniversary reward. That's what I've heard and wow. We have to log in for 7 days for this amazing juicy rewards which are gonna give us a lot of boost to our gameplay progression. Wow. Bon appetit. <laughs> what is this man? What is this? Holy crap. Intertwined fate times one on the day number one. On day number two, 80,000 mora. Okay, day number three times two. Intertwined Fate, uh, day number 4, 18 Mystic Enhancement Crystals, alright, day number 5, times 2, Intertwined Fate, day number 6, 8 Hero Wit, and finally on day number 7, we are going to be receiving 5 Intertwined Fate, and that is such an amazing gift in Genshin Impact, wow, oh my god. I think, um, like, I've seen a lot of amazing, like, you know, fast anniversary events and gift sessions going on around in so many gacha games out there, like in Epic 7 and so on and on. But I really have to admit that this game actually comes as number one when it comes to giving the worst gift out there, even in the fast anniversary. My god, this game is still making, like, literally billions, billions of dollars every month, right? If I'm not wrong. And this is how they are supposed to maintain their player base. And players are still sucking it up. I don't know why. <laughs> like, <laughs> I just don't get it, okay? I just don't get it. Oh, man. The whales have really spoiled this game. Anyways, so let's claim it right over here. That's all I can do. Okay, yes, that is it. Uh, next is going to be the test run. And the next one is going to be the moment of uh, CZZZ or something like that. Okay, next one is going to be the teapot to call home. Okay, next one is going to be the mid-assious waves. And uh, that is it, guys. That is it. Nothing else, guys. So, all we can really boast about the first anniversary in the... Genshin Impact are these gifts out here, guys, all right? And let me also show you guys how the community is actually, you know, like, perceiving these things out here. Let's look into that, okay? So I just came into this Reddit post right over here, posted by Andlena Rhinus, okay? So, yeah, that is pretty much it. Genshin Impact uh, Anniversary Rewards, and that is pretty much it. Look at that. It's, it's, it's the same thing that I just showed you to you guys a while ago. And this one right over here uh, says, This is what people are defending on Genshin subreddit at this very moment. Like, what is there to defend? <laughs> it's so like, how can you defend something like it's like, like this, right? Mods have been deleting posts. My god, they are pretty active. Like, mods, like, wow, they are like a tyranny, man. Mods have been deleting posts related to criticizing Mihoyo for anniversary and trolls have been making alt accounts defending Mihoyo or Mihoyo. Okay, so that is it. Uh, edit. Not in the subreddit. Genshin subreddit. Okay, yeah, that is it. And, uh, man. Okay, right over here by the crunch bite, it says, LOL, the top post of the week is a meme shitting on the Genshin anniversary. So, is the top post of the month... <laughs> 
<laughs> and that is it. Most uh, started deleting stuff because every other post on this sub was a low effort post about it. Not because they wanted to defend miHoYo. Okay, it's just so bad. Okay, because it's true. This sub modes is like gacha nowadays. Give a full, complete critics on a game with proof and discussion, and sometimes proof your thread is gone since they will uh, say it is more suitable for the game on specific subreddit. Okay, that is pretty complicated. Anyways, right over here it says ignoring how we have been thrashing the shit out of the anniversary awards for the past week or so not really looking to be a mod boot leaguer but calm them uh, some slack you know like you probably saw some extremely redundant garbage that they had to delete okay yeah that is it anyways it says right away as well I've been watching the new post on the Genshin subreddit aside from anniversary complaints. I've been I've seen just about every negative post being deleted. They are on full damage control mode. It's not about removing redundancy, it's about removing anything negative from gaining traction. And I actually kind of just stumbled a YouTube uh, upon a YouTube video with Tekton and uh, yes, he actually made a video where he kind of mentioned that Genshin back kind of approached him so that they can have a damage control, okay, so that they can get some help from Tekton. And Tekton was like, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, there we go, guys. Like, uh huh. Uh, a comparison of two games' anniversaries, guys. Yes, this is how the other gacha games really do celebrate the anniversary. This is how it's supposed to be. We always look forward for the anniversary to give us some really good stuff out there. This is something that we always look forward to uh, like happen, okay? After like one year. I mean like it happens like once a year so it's something really great, right? So that's what happens on the left hand side for the other gacha games. Epic 7, uh, One Piece Treasure Cruise and so on and on except Exo Zeros though. <laughs> on the right hand side we have got Genshin Impact Anniversary. I got 100 Primo Gems and I didn't get anything at all right up here guys that's 100 primo gems that the people are trying to boast about okay so yeah that is it like what the hell is that it's pretty sad guys really really sad indeed uh, Genshin Impact one of the most not one of the most it's the most money-making game out there in terms of gacha games and yet it's still it's still trying to become so much I don't know like you name it and uh, I think you cannot be wrong with that. <laughs> so yeah, that is it, guys. I don't know what to say about this. I am pretty amazed that, wow, the greed. Or, or I don't know what to say. Like, how they are managing this game and how people are still playing this game. I'm like, yes, M-Test, he kind of really did um, mention that so many players are raised quitting this game, but it doesn't look like that in the charts. I mean, like, the players have been steadily increasing daily on a very massive basis. And, well, whenever you watch any kind of YouTube videos, the ads are always popping out here and there, right? Yeah, that is it. So if they are really going to invest so much in the ads, why won't they actually invest a little bit in providing so good rewards for the players out there? It's, I'm not, think about it, right? I don't know. I, I, just, I just don't get it. Okay, so yeah, that is it. I think that's the Chinese gacha game stuff or something like that. Uh, just trying to make a video out here, making a little bit of, you know, criticism about like, what the hell is this? <laughs> it's a fast anniversary and what the hell is this? Okay, so yeah, that is it. See you guys in the next video.